call the meeting to order this morning. Good morning. We call the meeting of the June 3rd Brown County Commission meeting to order. Commissioner Sutton, will you lead the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You remain standing and Pastor Lou Whitmer is going to do a blessing for us. Good morning. Good morning. Would you bow in prayer with me? Creator God of all, at the beginning of a new year, we find ourselves amazed at the concept of time and the wonder of your presence through all time and place. We ask that you, O oh God, would strengthen us to take our responsibilities of service faithfully and always for the greater good. Remind us of your continual calls for justice and compassion. Grant these who are gathered here wisdom, insight, integrity, and dedication as decisions are made and future is considered. May we never take our places in life for granted and may all decisions made serve the well-being of all. In gratitude, O oh Lord, for this time and place, gratitude for all of life, and hope for a peaceful and meaningful future, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> motion to approve the agenda. Move. Second. Move by Gage, second by Sutton. No, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. <coughs> Next we'll have the swearing in of we'll start with Commissioner Group. I drew dinner. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of South Dakota. And the Constitution of the State of South Dakota. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All the duties of my said office. All the duties of my said office. Of Brown County Commissioner. Of Brown County Commissioner. Raise your hand again. 
I Dave Lundsman. I Dave Lundsman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. And that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of South Dakota. And the Constitution of the State of South Dakota. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All the duties of my set office. All, all the duties of my set office. Of Brown County Interim Coroner. As Brown County Interim Coroner. Thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone. Appreciate it. You've already been pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next is the commission reorganization meeting for 2023. I call for election for chairman. Commission. Move for Dwayne Sutton for chair. Second. We have a motion and a second for Commissioner Sutton to be chairman. Any others? <laughs> Nomination seats. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Thank you. And you can take it from there then. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have election of vice chair for 2023. Do we have any nominations? Make a motion for Doug Feldheim for vice chair. Doug Feldman, we have a second. Second. Second by Dennert. Further discussion? Any further nominations? Any further nominations? I accept the motion that nomination seats be cast a unanimous ballot for Doug Feldman as vice chair. Motion by Gage. Second, second by Dennert. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you. All right. Now we get the the fun begins. Update board book. <laughs> Simplest way would be just go through and wherever it says fight or change it to dinner, but we can go through it. <laughs> the only one that I was going to ask if we change would be the, uh, between me and Drew, Drew would be the alternate legislative contact, or I would be the legislative contact, if we could flip those and make him the legislative contact, I'll just be the alternate. Alternate has more okay. contacts with the legislature. So. Okay, so if we go down the list, uh, are you okay with weed and pest control, Drew? Yep. Okay. Um, fair board. I can do that. County buildings. Yep. Northeastern Mental Health Center. Yep. Union negotiations. Did Dennis? De Dennis wasn't part of that this last time, was he? I think it was Mike. I think it was yeah. Mike. He must be the alternate then. Possibly, yeah. Because it is under Mike also. No? Okay. <coughs> um, Grow Netscap. Okay. okay with that. Yep. All right. So you'll be the legislative contact. Okay. So when we get down to Gage, you'll be the alternate. I'm okay with all of mine. Mike's not here, so he's going to be okay with all of his. <laughs> 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 all right. <coughs> Doug, you okay with all those? Yeah, I'm fine with them. Mike will be the alternate legislative contact instead. You okay with all the rest of them? I'm good. Okay. I that takes care of commissioner. Okay, appoint officials. Uh, how about superintendent? We need to consider reappointing our current highway superintendent for a two-year term. Thoughts? There's no objection. I would entertain a motion to take that action. Move to uh, appoint Dirk Rogers as our county highway superintendent for a two-year term. Okay, we have a motion by tell time. Second. Second by Dennert. To reappoint Dirk, Dirk Rogers as our highway superintendent for another two-year term. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Next, veteran service officer four-year term. 
Carolyn Wahlberg is the current VSO and is interested in being reappointed. Is there any other nominees or suggestions? If not, I would entertain a motion. I'll move so that. I'm sorry. Second. Okay, motion by Gage, second by Dennert to reappoint Aaron Wahlberg as the VSO for another four year term for the discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, depository. You have a list there? Yep. They were in the packet, and I don't remember them all, but I don't think anything's really changed. It's pretty much all Good banks thing, um, in Brown County. Yeah. And the one in Groton switched over to Dakota Bank instead of Claremont Branch. Oh, okay. Dakota Bank, Dakota Bank East Branch, Dakota Bank Groton Branch, First National Bank of Frederick, First Savings of Searsburg, Hecla Branch. Bank North of Warner, Bank North Warner is Aberdeen Branch, Plains Commerce, U.S. Bank, Great Plains, and Fort All right, so recommendation of the treasurer as we use these depositories. Would entertain a motion to approve those. Move. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Feldheim. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Next, volunteers for work comp purposes. Um, your CERT members are all listed there. Got quite a list of CERT members. Yeah, they've been certain quite a bit. Okay. Yep. Entertain a motion to approve the CERT volunteer members. Move it. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor, signify favor, saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, nay. Motion carried. <coughs> chaplains. Volunteer chaplains. We've got the list here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven volunteer chaplains. Entertain a motion to approve the chaplains. I'll move it. Motion by Dennert. Second. Second by Feldheim. All in favor, signify favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Next, Citizens Corps Council. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve members. Three year terms. We're ending December 31st of 22. <coughs> Some of them expired a year ago in 21, four of them in 23. Entertain a motion to approve the Citizens Corps Council. Move. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Dennard. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Communications Council, we will be meeting again. I'm chair. I was chair last year. We'll be meeting. Uh, sometime coming up here early January and the communication council members are listed there. We have two members from the county. What did I skip? Oh, Diapian. Sorry, I was just going by the book here. All right. Sorry, I was just going down the book. All right, Dive Team. We'll go back to Dive Team. Team leaders are Scott Mines and Dave Lundsman. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten volunteer dive team members. Entertain a motion to approve those members. Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor, signal favor, <coughs> aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, next. I'll follow the agenda instead of the book. Fair board. This was in the packets. Entertain a motion to approve these fair board members for 2023. So moved. Motion by Dennert, second by Gage. All yeah, in favor? Change, change that from the Dennis on the bottom of that, right? There's a change. Yeah. Dennis, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll just put Drew at the okay. bottom there for a second. Right. So again, Drew Dennert, instead of second, four question marks. All right. All in favor, second, five, or say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. 
All right, FSA appointment. It was that we were going to leave him with that. All right, to entertain a motion to appoint Doug Talbot <coughs> the FSA appointment. Mm. Motion by Gage, second second by Denner. All in favor, second by Denner, saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, nay. Motion carries. Homeland Security Regional Review Board. Who do we have there? Scott Lane and Dave Lundson. Okay. Entertain a motion on that item? Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. Uh, Scott Mines and Dave Lundsman for Homeland Security Regional Review Board. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. <coughs> Housing and Redevelopment Commission of Brown County. Current. <coughs> Marty Clebo, or Caballo, Connie Kustler, Mike Jung, Paul Lanto, Kathy Zur. Haven't heard that any of these people want off or want to be changed. It looks like they're all, except Mike Jung, his expired in 2021. So we asked them for suggested new members. So how do we handle that? <coughs> Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. See who they want. For county, county's expired 1231-22, and Mike Jung, 21. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll approve the other two, one, two, two, three. We'll, and then as soon as we get other names, we'll approve them at a later date. All right, any suggestions on people there? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve these three members who are so eligible. Move. Motion by Dennert. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor, signify <coughs> by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Official newspapers. We're down to two, right? Yep. Are the American News and the Grote Independent. Entertain a motion to that effect. Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right. Communications Council. I already started on that one. The only one we need to change on it, we need to change the Mark Melbrandt to Dave Lundsman. And the Vice Chair. And the Vice Chair. Currently is Mike Weiss. We'll change that to as our our designee will be Doug Feldheim, and then we'll probably have re-election of officers at at the first meeting of the year. So, but we'll change Mike Weiss to Doug Feldheim and Mark Melbrand to Dave Valenzuela. I think that's the only changes we need to make. Entertain a motion to that effect. Ooh. Second. Motion by Gage, second by Dennert. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. <coughs> the Dakota Prairie Museum <coughs> should have been on the list of those members. We just had our last meeting of the year last Thursday, and I think she has this. Yep, these are all the current members. I think they approved one new member who will be starting once they can contact to verify that member. And I can't remember the name. All right, entertain a motion to approve the Dakota Prairie Museum Board. Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Dennert. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Planning and zoning. Some of these get updated and changed as time goes on throughout the Which one you should draw the year. Carry on that. Okay. Carry? Yep. Yep. So we can have options. Okay. Right. Okay. Darwin Batman and Pat Keith. Their terms both expired on December thirty first. 2022, so we need to 
first entertain a motion to reappoint those two for their fourth term on the Planning and Zoning Board. Move it. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Dennert. You would their term. You change the terms. Oh, uh, these are okay. Yep. So it would be the third term. I thought they would go up to the fourth. <coughs> All right, so the third, third term. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And then we will approve the current lists with those two renewed. Stan Beckler, David North, Darwin Bettman, Pat Keats, Dale Kurth, James Myers, and Kerry Weisenberger. Move. Motion by Feldheim, second by Gage. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. 4-H. 4-H, we've got three for adults, four for youth. Non-4-H, we've got three members, and the AG representative is Connie Group. And Commissioner Gage is the liaison to that. 4-H leaders group, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, our ag representative. What's that? What's the ag representative? Connie Group. Okay. Yes. The adults are Kristen Johnson, Nathan Miller, Sadie Vanderwall, youth Noah Miller, Anna Johnson, Sophia Fogarty, Logan Warrington, and then 4-H non-4-H adults, Adam Franken, Becky Erickson, and Michaela Weiser. Ag Representative County Group. Entertain a motion to approve those members. Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. We can pass. Currently have Bill Donaldson, Dwayne Jark, Troy Connect, Tyler Bierman. And they are all. The next one to expire would be Troy Connect March 31st of 2023. So we'll have to reappoint or find a new member after March 31st. Drew will be the liaison to the lead test board. And they meet at 11 o'clock uh, monthly. You'll get notification of that group. All right. Entertain a motion to that effect. Move. Motion by Gage. Second by Sutton. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right. Designation of deputies in the Auditor, Treasurer, and Register of Deeds Office. Auditor is two chief deputies, two senior deputies. Treasurer is two chief deputies, six deputies, one of them being part time. Register of Deeds would be one chief deputy and four deputies. Any questions on that? If not, entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Dennert. Second. Sorry. Second by Feldheim. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. <coughs> Investment policy. Whereas the nature of tax collections and other revenue is such that cash on deposit and accounting depositories at times exceed the requirements for current expenditures. And whereas it is the best interest of the county to invest those mm -hmm. these monies not required for immediate expenditure. Now therefore be it resolved that the county treasurer is hereby directed to invest from county public funds at the highest rate of interest possible at the time of available monies in financial institutions as designated by the Brown County Commission and further to finish quarterly reports detailing the same as authorized by South Coast Codified Law 4 5 8. Any questions on that? Policy is put together by the treasurer each year. Make our money go as far as it can. Entertain a motion to that effect. Move. Second Motion by Feldheim. Second by Dennert. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Interest policy. Did you read it? Did you guys read it in the packet? Everybody <laughs> read through it. Any questions? Not have an entertain a motion on the interest policy. Move. Motion by Gage, second, second by Denner. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Expense policy for employees. Um, nothing has changed since September. The mileage rate is still at the 51 cents a mile. 
meals are still the six for breakfast, 14 for lunch, 20 for dinner. In state, out of state is 10 for breakfast, 18 for lunch, and 28 for dinner. Questions? If not, get a motion. Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Expense policy for election officials. Um, we want to keep it the same as the 250 for the one day for vote center officials, 15 per hour for absentee vote center officials working on election day, and then $20 for the training. And then they'll get minimum mileage if they're outside everything. Entertain a motion to that effect. I'll move it. Motion by Dennert. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Expense policy for the Brown County Board. Uh, Dakota Prairie Museum is no per diem. Fair Board is also no per diem. Planning and zoning is $50 for each meeting attended. And then if reside outside city limits, they are also reimbursed for mileage. And they can be reimbursed for expenses if they attend the state conference. And weed and test is $40 per meeting attended and plus mileage outside city limits. Okay. Questions or an appropriate motion? Move to approve. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Tax deed notices. I read through it. Did anybody have any questions? Not changing our policy, same as we've been doing it. Entertain a motion to that effect. Move. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Dennert. All in favor, sing the cover, saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Rental rates for the fairgrounds. That was also in the packet. Looks like it's kind of an across the board recommendation of minimal increases. Any questions on that? recommendations of the fairgrounds manager. Move to approve. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. Rental rates for the Richmond Youth Camp. Again, minimal increases. Nothing too significant. She did go 75 on the lodge rate. The lodge went from 150 to 225. Probably the biggest reason for that, I'm guessing, would be the fact that it's now air conditioned. Before it was never air conditioned, so we coop some of our inve investment on that. It'll make it maybe more rentable in the middle of the summer. So, if we have a chance to look at the rates, if so, I would entertain a motion. I'll move it. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Denner. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Director of Equalization Clothing Allowance. Unchanged from last year, I don't I think. Yep. Dollar amount. 150 per year for Director of Equalization Clothing Allowance. Entertain a motion. Move it. Motion by Denner. Second by Feldheim. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right. Um, Department of uh, Equalization fees for the use of the online information. Copies at 25 cents a page, and then their website access agreement, depending on the number of users, um, varies. 319.50 up to 766.80, and then a temporary user a one month fee of 106.50, and then a setup fee of 26.63. Any questions or comments or a motion? I'll move it. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Feldheim to approve the Director of Equalization fees. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, uh, next on the agenda, we will have the opportunity for any public comment. 
the only one that wishes to speak. Uh, Scott had his hand up first. Go ahead, Scott. Um, do we need to add on here for planning and zoning fees? Do we renew them every year? Good question. Do you know that? Um, we can if you've got it. We don't have any changes okay. um, this year. We did it midstream last year. We changed some. Okay. So I don't know if you renew that every year or not. I can't but remember. The commission either. approves the fees for uh, planning and zoning department. Since this is the day we approve all the other fees, I would say let's add it on. I know it's not on the agenda, but it's just one of the standard county fees that we charge, so I would say we'd be okay. Okay. Adding the planning and zoning fees on to the fee schedule. Move to approve the fees for planning and zoning set as the same rate as last year. Okay. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Thanks, Scott. Brandy. Um, I'm just letting you know that I have a very rough draft in the work about the appointment of a um, the county coroner. I gave a copy to Julie Johnson and Chris Jacobson, and they are looking it over. So hopefully we have something in the works for you guys. So. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. We yep. appreciate that. Any other public comments, either in person, out there on the phone, or online? Hearing and seeing none, we'll move on. Kelsey Binger, Truancy Court. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> a little bit of a change in the way we're going to do business this year. Yeah. Proposed. Um, proposed, yes. Um, Ernest, do you want to start or do you want us to? The basis of, of the proposal is basically going to be taking what the funding that was for Teen Court. We don't have Teen Court anymore. So we're going to take that and start a truancy court in Brown County. We have <coughs> the judge in, in place to Judge Portra, I believe to be the judge on the truancy court. So basically we're just saying take the funding that would be for team court and apply that to the establishment of a truancy court. With that, I'll give it back to Kelsey. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we have identified that truancy is kind of a low-hanging fruit of an early indicator of delinquent activity. Um, so wanting to put some time and energy into those cases um, before they become further involved into the juvenile justice system and therefore costing us more money by housing them in our secure facility. <laughs> Very good. When do you plan on having that up and running or hope to have it up and running? I think the team is pretty much established, um, including Carla as the prosecutor on the um, truancy court team, um, Judge Portra, myself. Um, we have talked with the school resource officers um, as well as school superintendent yeah, of Era Prevention and Northeastern Mental Health. Yeah, so the team is pretty much established um, and we're ready to start meeting um, as far as actual families going through the, the truancy court sit setting, we would probably be looking at maybe March before that's actually happening, um, kind of giving the families a fresh start um, with the new year, not taking any past truant cases, um, so it would have to be the third term. And then we, I mean it's going to be trial and error of what kind of families are going to be the best um, candidates for this program, but ideally we'll look at high school students um, who struggle with getting to school for issues that we can help solve. There's going to always be those students that just aren't going to go to school no matter what we resources we can provide to them, so not um, using these resources towards those ones, but ones that maybe need um, help with mental health or, or chemical dependency, things that we can help um, direct them to the right providers for. Are we pattern, patterning ours after others in the state that are working, as far as you know? Yes. Uh, I was sitting in on the Rapid City, the Pennington County Truancy Court, a couple of years ago, and that's kind of where the idea came from. Um, 
how that looks for us will be definitely modeled after a smaller jurisdiction and whatnot. But so actually, Watertown just last year implemented a family style court, which is um, unique. We don't have one of those here in Brown County, but um, we were able to get a copy of you know their kind of like procedural manual and the practices they're using. So I think we can take those and kind of implement some of those because this will also be a family style court, just sure. specifically for truancy. Um, and I know Judge Portra has been kind of passionate about implementing more family style approaches as well. Um, that a lot of the core issues that we deal with do are not just one one you know one child or one parent. It's just a unit. So. Good. Good. Any questions of the commission? I think it's a good program to try and implement. But hopefully, it will meet with a lot of success. Thank you. Keep some of those kids in school. Go ahead. Just want to say thank you guys, it's both of you, for all the hard work, and then Ernest and Judge Portra for being able to jump on board because I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. And I know it's a lot of hard work to get to the point you're at right now, so we appreciate that. Thank you. As far as you know, right now, that the uh, amount that you were allocated for a team court should be adequate to get us up and going with no problem. I no. believe that. absolutely. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Well, again, thank you to everyone involved. Good luck. Thank keep, you. Keep us posted and give us updates as you move along. We'll do. All right. Thank, thank, thank you, you very much. You thank you. Okay. Uh, we will need a motion to move the funding from the team court program to the truancy court program. I'll move it. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Feldheim. Further discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Rachel Tipley, Fair Fairgrounds Manager. Mm -hmm. Morning. Happy New Year. Good morning. Morning. Um, this proposal is just the second and third sets of what we had talked about in 2022. We've already upgraded um, one campground. We've talked to Northern Electric, and what we'd like to do is just do both the 23 and 24 upgrades in the same year so that they can just come in and out the same sponsorship money that they're providing, which I think it was 7500 per year. Um, we'll just do both in the same year if you guys are good with it. So this RFP puts out to do 141 electrical sites. Those are already primitive sites. They're paying 100 bucks a, a pop for that. Right now, when it goes to just electrical, they'll um, prepay $1,000 and then we're gonna hopefully down the road put water in, but there's no guarantees of when that will happen. The prepayment will go into an account and then that will pay for whatever the cheapest electrical bid we get back to put those pedestals in. So if you're familiar in the packet, there might've been the maps there. Um, the back 40 campground, there's a primitive to the east of it and a primitive to the west of it. So here's your back 40. It'll be here and here. So there's 45 sites in the one on the west that'll go electrical and then there's 96 here that go electrical and we've already gotten about 50 to 60 percent of those people that are in those sites saying absolutely yes I'm paying the thousand bucks I want electrical I'm tired of filling my generator every day at the fair and then the ones that haven't responded we'll reach out to them again if there's some that do not want to prepay we'll take them off the top of the list so and if they prepay the thousand how long do they get to rent that spot for that thousand Four years prepaid okay. Okay. because um, the electrical sites are between in that 180 range and the fair board is looking at recommending going up on those. So okay. they're they're getting four years in advance for the thousand and it's a little bit more than what they would, but that's considering that we may go up on those rates. So does that include the the far east sites like where I'm at? Does it include those? All those sites yep, on your this map. is currently primitive, just on the east side of Back 40. I think yeah, because your new stuff is, you know, what I would say is to the south, and then there was just that little bit of uh, a primitive that is. It is not these. It is this. Okay. This. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that one is. Uh, this one here is the one that's right to the right hand side when you right. go through the gate. Okay. And the only thing that'll be tweaked a little bit is right now these run north and south. Yep. In order to keep the roads adjacent, we're yeah, going to flip them to go east and west. Makes sense. Yes. Yeah. And one of the reasons you wanted to act early on this is the availability of pedestals, possible delay throughout the year, so we want to get it done as soon as possible to hopefully guarantee delivery and receipt of the pedestals. So yeah, they're saying 20 to 24 weeks out. So if we get this in here in January, let's hope we can get them done. Right. <laughs> so I appreciate you taking time. I know this is a busy agenda. All right, entertain a motion to approve the uh, issuing of the RFP. 
approve it. Motion by Feldheim, second by Dennert. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rachel. Got one other thing. Yeah. Uh, safety Committee, I see Fairgrounds Superintendent Kurt Smith was on that. We never talked about that. Does that mean Rachel automatically goes to the Safety Committee, or that'd be my guess? Sign me up. Well, I didn't know. I thought, me and you were here, I thought, well, I just happened to see that we never talked about it, and Kurt yeah. Smith is still on me. Good. You have another new job. That sounds great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, did the rates go through as recommended, or did yes. you tweak yes. those at all? No. Okay. Because yeah. we've got people waiting to sign up for Camp Orange for next year. So. Yep. We'll go to twelve bucks on that. That foot. Perfect. All right. Thank all you right. guys. Thanks, thank you, Rachel. Rachel. All right. That brings us to the end of our scheduled items. Now, consent calendar. Approval of the general meeting minutes of December twenty seventh, twenty twenty two. Ooh. Motion by Gage. Second. Second by Dennert. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Claims and payroll. Move. Motion by Dennert. Second. Second by Feldheim. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. HR report. Move. Motion by Feldheim. Second by Gage. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. I didn't see one okay. in the pack. We'll scratch that for this week then. And, and then the claim assignment. Ooh. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Is there any other business to come before the Brown County Commission this morning? Yeah. All right. Um, South Dakota Public Assurance Alliance representatives. I'm down as the member representative, and it says Kathy McNichol is the alternate, so we need to change that to Lynn Heipel as the alternate. Unless one of you want to be the alternate. Yeah. So. <laughs> Entertain a motion. I'll, I'll move it. Okay. Second. Motion by Kenner, second by Gage. All in favor, signal cover saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. All right. Find the other slid. Nope. All right. Do we have any need for executive session? We do. Personnel? Anything for legal? Okay. Entertain a motion to go into executive session for personnel. Woo. Motion by Feldheim, second by Gage. All in favor, signal favor, saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. We are an exec. <laughs> All right, we're back in session. Lights back on. Out of exec with no action as a result. Okay. Is there anything else to come before the Brown County Commission this morning? Any questions, comments, suggestions, recommendations? Move to adjourn. Motion by Feldheim. Second. Second by Gage to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. We are adjourned.